Hello and welcome on Watchers TV, welcome at Watchers and Wonder, and welcome on the Vacheron Constantin booth with our good friend Christian Selmoni. And we're going to talk about some of the new watches presented this year, not all of them, and we're going to start with some feminine watches, right? Absolutely, my dear. So, uh, welcome at Vacheron Constantin. So, we're going to start this, uh, this uh, presentation with one, uh, one of, of, of novelty for dedicated to ladies. So, this is the 36.5 millimeter diameter patrimony, uh, self winding with the, with the uh, our caliber 2450 uh, Geneva seal. And uh, this is a, a very nice introduction. There is something which is very, very interesting, and this is a, a brand new dial for, the, for this uh, collection. We call it the gradient dial. So this is a dial which is at the center, I would say silver with a hint of rose, and which become darker at the edges. So this timepiece will be available in both white and uh, rose gold. Uh, on the rose gold models, the dial will be, uh, you know, this kind of uh, silver rose gradient. Uh -huh. And we will have blue gradient dial for the white gold watches. Uh, last point I would like to mention, for example, on this timepiece here that I have on in, in my hand. So this is the polished gold model. And uh, you can see that we have a minute track which is made of tiny diamonds. So a very chic yes. and feminine touch. Last point I would like also to express is that we have now in, in the patrimony model and the traditional model, as well as Egeri, our feminine collection, we have um, a self-intangible system, and the straps are compatible between the three collections, so it's uh, something which is very useful for our feminine clientele. Okay. Next watch, uh, now we're going to complication, but still in the ladies' uh, segment. Is there um, kind of a demand for these kind of watches uh, that you've noticed, or did you say, okay, let's make a QP for ladies? No, no, uh, we see we see since uh, several years now a very strong uh, growth in the interest uh, from our feminine clientele for our complicated watches. And we started uh, two years ago with the, with the traditional uh, tourbillon for ladies in a 38 millimeter case. But this uh, novelty is really, I would say, it's really a creation uh, from scratch, which, which has been thought to be dedicated to ladies, in the sense that the case is a uh, 36.5 millimeter, which is uh, a super good diameter for our feminine clientele. We are using our own uh, 1120 QP caliber, which is very thin, 4.05 millimeter thick, which gives us the possibility to, to really create a, a very beautiful, very well-balanced, very good proportion timepiece with a total thickness of 8.45 mm. And um, the new perpetual calendar ultra thin in traditional will come in two versions. So a rose gold model with white mother of pearl dial with many beautiful details on the watch face. And the one I have in my hand, which is in white gold. And we have a blue tinted mother of pearl dial. Finally, so the, the case and the lugs and the, the crown and the buckle are set with diamonds. We have 94 diamonds for 1.2 carat. And, um, well, it's a great novelty, and we are happy to introduce in the traditional collection a grand complication, which is the Pepto calendar. Yeah, very nice complication, for sure. So now let's talk about a revival watch. I mean, for us little geek, uh, watch geek people, I mean, the 222 is obviously part of the watches that we like uh, uh, on, the, on, the, on the auction scene, for instance. And um, now you've come up with, a, well, not a new version, but you have an adapted version. Yes. So yeah. tell us all about it. Yeah, very much. Okay, so le let's jump back to 1977. You were not born, I presume already. Uh, and, um, and so uh, Vacheron Constantin launched his very first, uh, I would say, sport elegant collection, the 222. Why 222? Because it was the 222nd anniversary of the brand. This is why they, they named that collection like that. So it was a collection of basically three sizes. So the so-called Jumbo 37, the mid-size 34, and the ladies 24. And the Jumbo model became, uh, you know, iconic. And, um, and uh, I would say it's very much sought after by collectors the, the, these days. And we did, at the end of the day, a few hundreds of the 222 model in, uh, in, in the jumbo size and on various, uh, on various materials. And so, uh, 45 years later, later <coughs> we have decided to uh, revisit the, 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 the 222 or the 222. So what did we do? Uh, we didn't make a lot of changes in comparison with the original one because the purpose of the historic collection is to be faithful to, uh, you know, to, the, to the original model while uh, coming with some, uh, if I may say, improvements or you know, little details that, that, that create a difference. Here we have in its full glory yellow gold, full <laughs> yellow gold, the, the historic 222. Uh, same diameter, 37 millimeter. 
Um, we have uh, actually changed uh, a couple of things. The first one is the movement. So we have replaced the 1121 by our caliber 2455, which is automatic, a Geneva seal, higher frequency, three crown position in comparison with the other one. And um, the back of the case, which is open, we have a sapphire crystal, and the rotor of the movement has been also uh, decorated with the 222 logo of, of 1977. So uh, concerning the case now, our designer made a fantastic job because, he, you know, it looks this watch looks like the original one, but there is a bit more sophistication. And so our designer has added some, uh, you know, polished little surfaces to contrast with the satin finish of the case or the bezel. And uh, the result is absolutely uh, superb. Uh, we have um, a gilt dial, a, a slightly different uh, color than the original one, in the sense that this is, uh, you know, between ivory, cream, and gilt. And we have a super luminova coated um, indexes and hands uh -huh. of beige color to give a, a hint on, of vintage. But I would say uh, what really makes, I think, a difference is when you are wearing the new uh, Historic 222, it is the bracelet. So the bracelet is super thin and super easy to, to wear. It's like a second skin. And I think it, it's a great um, improvement, if I may say, in comparison with 1977. And so for me, it, really, uh, it could really kind of uh, redefine what is a wristwatch in, in a way. So this is the new historic uh, 222 and uh, well. And it's part of the collection, right? It's not it limited. Part, thank you. It is part of the collection. So, uh, so the production will be limited like other watches of Ashoka Sata. But this is not a limited edition. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time, Christian. Yeah, and yeah, I know there are some always. other watches, but I mean, we had to focus on a few. Thanks again. Thanks a lot. And see you soon, I Have hope. Have a wonderful day. All right. Bye, guys.